Hi everyone and welcome. As you can see, I'm using a 9x12 whiteboard today. This is actually a little lap board. And this is in the style of Belgamari. If you've seen Belgamari before, I do my own little twist on it and I use a whiteboard versus uh, using melanin board. And sometimes I like to use craft plastic, but I consider this my therapy now. I so enjoy it. I am using a sapia tone today. It is just uh, acrylic paint brown actually burnt umber black and orange so very warm not the red in it but orange instead today and I am using my silicone cup this is a silicone cup for resin but the bottom makes an excellent vehicle for making circles and I'm just moving by tapping right to the middle with the cup and uh, making sure I've got plenty of them and this is just the background and I'm going to be doing a flower today so we're gonna start with the petals I am using yellow acrylic paint mixed with water and I am just swiping my petals on and meeting in the center and I can be kind of messy in the center and it's still gonna look great let's make this one a little bit bigger there we go we're staying very um, close on the color wheel today the yellow the browns the oranges so not a lot of contrast today this one I don't like too much so I'm going to just fiddle with it for just a second before I fill in my petals with another color but we're going to keep in the same vein I'm going to be filling in the middle of my petals with orange I believe I think this is going to work great and it just takes one swipe I love doing this kind of artwork because if you hate it, you erase it and you start over again. You don't have to waste canvases. You can change your mind as many times as you want to. Now let's work on the center. I am just going to take a flat brush or a filbert brush and pull out from the center. There's no paint on my brush. I have just wet it and I am pulling straight out from the middle and going around uh, using my Lazy Susan so that I can get a rounded middle. And there it is, just that simple. And I will show you an up close detail here in just a minute. But before I do that, I'm gonna add a little more interest by doing some like raffia ribbons off of this. It's kind of got that country vibe going on it today. And as you can see, there's no paint on my brush. I am just pulling the paint. If I want it to be lighter, I will have more pressure or will take more paint off. If I want it to be darker, then I can add more paint on. Let's see, where's this going to go? I think I want this um, up here, probably. So let's go ahead and get these on there. Love making ribbons. If you've never tried this style of paint, I would encourage you to do so. It is so much fun. That's why I call it my therapy time. I think I've enjoyed this form of painting more than a lot of other forms of painting. It's so it's it's simply gratifying so quickly if you like quick gratification I guess this is the type of artwork for you so please check out all my other videos I do all kinds of acrylic on my channel and uh, this is one form that I have really started liking to do but I also work a lot with acrylic skins as well I'm gonna finish this up here because I don't like it and I just have to fiddle with it until I like what I have. So I'm just taking off a little more paint so it matches the other side. Uh, not to be matchy matchy or anything, but um, I don't want it to look messy. So that's the great thing about this style of painting is you can just go back over it as many times as you need to or add a little extra paint if you need to. So let me show you a close up. This one's really simple today. And here it is and uh, you can really see the detail and the way the colors mesh together and then I will show you an up close of the center there it is a little bit closer up I hope you enjoyed this video today Wow look at that if you like this video please hit like and subscribe and the notification bell thanks for watching and check out these videos